same time, you know, um, I tried to kind of wipe Detroit out of my mind, uh, just move on from it. Um, and Kenny had a lot of confidence in me, you know, to go back to me tonight, and I just wanted to come through. In the huddle towards the end of the game, are you asking Kenny for the ball, or is he drawing it up for you? How did it come about? Nah, um, I mean, he just drew it up for me to have the ball. You know, that's his job to draw the so I don't get it. When, when you did see that he drew it up for you, what was going through your mind at that point? I just wanted to get the shot that I wanted. I wanted to get the last shot. Um, unfortunately, I think it was still a second left, but I wanted to get the last shot. I wanted to get the shot that I wanted to get. Gary, the other night you said that if you had it, slow down a little bit. Was that something that went through your head before you went out there? Yeah, for sure. Uh, like I said, I wanted to get the shot. I wanted to get, um, and I wanted to get, you know, a good. I didn't want to rush it, so I felt like I got a good shot and I was confident about it. Did it feel a little bit in the fourth yeah. quarter like it was a yeah. scrimmage in Michigan? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, man. He had some tough shots there uh, down the stretch, um, but we definitely wanted to get our first win for sure. And, and it, did he say something to you coming off the court after he missed the three? I just said good game. Talking about tough shots, I mean, you hit the deck a bunch of times. You got some pretty tough fouls. I mean, did that you seem like pretty fired up at the end. Did that contribute to all of it? Yeah. Um, I mean, he had hit a couple of tough shots on me. Tim did, so I was uh, I was pretty happy after the stop I got at the top of the key. Um, and like I said, I just wanted to get, you know, we just wanted to get our first win today. So it felt good to get that. What's Kevin? the atmosphere like for you when you play against the Knicks? Uh, we didn't beat them last year. Uh, we knew that coming into today. Um, so we definitely wanted to, you know, get that revenge and uh, start our season off the right way at home. Even though this was only the second game of the season, it kind of went a little bit like the other night where it came down to the end. How big was it for you guys to pull it out tonight? It was huge. It was huge, man. You know, last year, I think um, we lost a lot of those games, uh, close games like that. Um, you always want to win at home, and you always want to win the close one. So I think we did a good job of that tonight. So, so when you look at the nature of the game and the opponent, how emotional was it in the fourth quarter? Was there maybe a little desperation to pull this one out? I would say desperation. Um, I feel like you know we're out there just fighting to win. We're out there fighting to get better every single day. Um, you know, it was definitely a huge win for us, home opener. Uh, our fans did a great job of being in it the whole game. Uh, we wanted to win for sure. Do you feel like a different side of your personality is starting to come out? I mean, to be the guy to take that shot late in the game, you got that technical foul, which is a little <laughs> against how you normally are. Uh, just do you feel like a different side of your personality is starting to come out? Nah, I don't think so, man. I didn't really say anything to the ref either. Just told me it was a bad call. <laughs> I don't know. I talked to him at halftime. He felt like it, he should have. He should have gave me a text. I don't know. I guess we just have to agree to disagree on him. Garrison, your third season. How confident are you right now? I mean, rookie year. You know, you, you had some ups and downs. Second year got a lot better, but this year only two games in, taking game winning shot, two two games in a row. How do you feel? What's your confidence level at right now? Really confident, man. Uh, my teammates and my coaches have a lot of confidence in me. Uh, work a lot on my game. I watch a lot of film, so I'm yeah, really confident. <laughs> can, you, uh, can you pinpoint anything that's really been clicking for you individually these first two games? You had a career high the other day, and then you set a new one today. Just taking my time, picking my spots, you know, knowing that I don't have to go every single time. I get it. Um, you know, get the mismatch, um, you know, play well off the ball. Um, I got a lot of great players on the team playing with me, so uh, it's easy when, when guys aren't selfish and looking for me like that. A couple of plays, particularly in the pick and roll, and as the as, as the game's going on, it seems like it's slowing down for you. Do you feel like not slow motion quite, but do you feel like you can kind of see plays ahead of time and see what what defense is doing before they do it? For sure. I mean, I watch a lot of film, so uh, that's kind of the goal of that. You know, to slow the game down um, and just you know get better every single day. You know, I stick with my same routine every day. Um, I've been working out for that. When people see you struggle against the Knicks as a team for the last couple of years, they think about Enos Cantor inside and the rebounding and all of that. But does it make it really difficult the way they play the pick and roll, just really pushing up and pressuring the ball? I don't think so. I think our biggest um, kind of issue with them is, like you said, the rebounding with Enos Cantor. He's a great offensive rebounder. Um, I feel like tonight we kind of did a great job in the fourth quarter, kind of balancing that out. How did you like the combination of yourself and Spencer and D-Lo together? I think we play really well together. You know, I think we're very comfortable playing with each other out there. Um, you know, we, we all do a lot of things very well on the court. Um, we're still, you know, trying to learn the offense a little bit as well. So I think the more we play with each other on the court, um, the better we'll get. Is that what you think contributes to the turnovers? I know you guys turn over a little yeah. higher than you want. You think that's what it is? For sure. And we're trying to make quick plays every time we touch the ball. So, you know, sometimes we, uh, you know, make a bad pass, make an errant pass. Um, but like I said, once we learn the offense a little bit more, we'll clean it up.